So today we're going to have a conversation about how Rachel Hollis is chosen to come back after her hiatus, after her apology to her viral TikTok video a number of weeks ago. And you can see my initial response to her initial apology to that TikTok rant. I'll link the description below. But today I want to have a conversation about how Rachel has chosen to come back and really my response to that as a leadership consultant. I'm Dr. Alicia Granholm of aliciagranholm.com, helping leaders thrive in leadership and life. So my initial reaction to how Rachel is choosing to show up after all that drama is that I'm super disappointed. I think this was a massively missed opportunity for her to come back and say, hey, I made a mistake. Hey, this was a real growth and learning opportunity for me and here's how I'm learning from it. Here's what I'm learning from it. Here's where I'm at. And she didn't. It was a massive missed opportunity. So the video that she chose to put up on her YouTube channel after her hiatus isn't inherently bad. There's nothing bad about it, but it feels like when my four-year-old does something and he gets disciplined about it and he laughs at it, right? So she went on a hiatus, she disappeared, fell out of the public's eyes, completely fine. And then she chooses to show up by sharing a funny recent thing that happened in her life. Okay. I guess I wanted a lot more than that when she came back. And I know that my expectations of her don't have to equal her expectations of herself, right? I guess I thought that this could be a massive opportunity for her to really lean into the potential that she has as a leader and as a business owner and as a massive influencer. At the very least, I wish she would have said, hey, I made a mistake. That was a massive learning opportunity. It's been a massive learning opportunity. Here are some of the things that I'm learning. Here are some of the ways that I'm learning right now. I absolutely haven't arrived. I'm still learning. And oh, by the way, here's something funny that's happened to me recently in my life. But her lack of acknowledging anything whatsoever feels like that family where something happens, conflict happens, mistakes are made, and everyone looks around at each other awkwardly, people get angry, words are said, and then someone just nice and neatly sweeps it all under the rug and we all pretend like nothing ever happened. It's the epitome of dysfunction. And here's why I think I was really disappointed that this is how she is choosing to show up online again. Because in her initial apology it felt like she wanted to highlight an aspect of her and her leadership and her brand as someone who is willing to make mistakes in front of others and then learn and grow from them but she didn't do that whatsoever and we have zero indication that she actually has been doing that and so what we're left with is feeling like she was sincerely trying to apologize a number of weeks ago and then now feeling like pretending as if nothing ever happened and so there's this massive gap and incongruency between what it felt like she was trying to say and how she's choosing to show up again in the world and so obviously when you have a gap that big between what you say you value and what you obviously value by what you do and say it does nothing but breed more mistrust so here's what I was really wishing I was going to be able to say about how she chose to show up in the online space again. Wow, I'm really impressed that Rachel took this as a serious learning opportunity and is sharing how she's learning and growing from this experience, from this massive mistake, from this public mistake, and not letting the mistake define her because She's getting back up again and learning and growing from it and really leaning into the tension of the learning and the growing and becoming the best version of her leadership self, right? She is living into her fullest potential as a leader. And I simply cannot say that by the way she's chosen to show up again. So 
here's what you and I can learn from her mistake, whether she chooses to learn from it or not, we can, because we can learn that, hey, mistakes happen. It is a part of life, it's a part of leadership, it's a part of living. We all make mistakes in our life, in our careers, in, with friends, with family, and we can learn and we can grow and we can become the best version of ourselves and really live into the fullest potential of who we are created to be. And then especially for leaders to really see mistakes as opportunities to model for others, model for those around us, how it is that we can learn and grow from mistakes and everyone can be better off for them. And when we model for others how to learn and grow from mistakes, we actually create cultures that are healthy and thriving and are safe places for everyone to flourish. Make sure to comment below. Let's have a dialogue about making mistakes and how it is that we really genuinely come back from failure. What do you think about that? What do you think about how Rachel is choosing to show up online after the drama that unfolded a number of weeks ago? like this video, share it, subscribe, and make sure to comment below. I really wanna hear what you think. And if you feel like you get stuck by your own failures, then check out my video on how to overcome fear of failure.